okay so what do you know about r2r uh, r2r uh, r2r is so basically a business process uh, where we get the information from the company so we will analyze that information and uh, record it in a accounting process and accounting mm-hmm. uh, standard so that is basically r2r okay so do you have any previous experience in record to report uh not purely a uh, record to report uh, but yes uh, in uh, means as an account uh, we need to uh, pass a general entries uh, 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 reconciliations the ledgers uh, re- rectifying the general entries the uh, month end uh, closing activity so i am involving in all these activities uh, in my previous companies and even in the current company okay what are the two major learnings from your previous role which you know might um, benefit in your current role if we hire you um yes uh, that is uh, means uh, actually the month end process uh, uh, which uh, the companies uh, every company is having their own working systems uh, and um, they need to make a provisions and resources as per their uh, operational activity so, so uh, it will help me uh, from the my previous companies to how to month end closures uh, to understand more betterly and uh, uh, audit uh, they are involving me in audit uh, internal audit so uh, and uh, many compliance uh, which companies are following so, so it will help me and it was help me to uh, understand more clarity on the month end and year end activity and uh, just, uh, means keeping the track on the billing systems and handling the old billing team so which i learned from the previous two companies okay so do you have knowledge on accrual concepts uh yes could you please explain uh accrual uh, accrual uh, it's a one of the our accounting system uh, we, uh, where we uh, accrued means uh, uh, we are liable to receive or liable to pay but not yet pay or not yet paid so that is basically a account uh, accrual versus accounting so can we call it due but not paid or received uh yes okay do you know what is impairment of asset impairment of asset means uh, a drastic fall in the value uh, of the asset uh, so that is an impairment of the asset okay so what is the difference between impairment of assets and depreciation uh depreciations uh, uh, we charge depreciations on every uh, year end uh, that is on a, a fixed percentage or as per their estimated life Uh, uh, so an increment asset is uh, drastic and uh, means in a depreciations uh, we are charging the fixed amount uh, like ten uh, percent or as per their uh, estimated life. So that that is only uh, reducing value. But in a increment, uh, we uh, all of sudden uh, the major part of our assets has been falling down due to some uh, uh, market reasons or some any other reason. But the uh, the value has been drastically reduced. Okay. So, can you name five intangible assets? Intangible assets, it's like uh, which we cannot see. Uh, that is intangible assets like the goodwill, patents, copyright, um, and uh, grants, uh, which are getting uh, grants and uh, yeah. Oh, I think. Okay, no worries. What are current assets? uh the current assets uh it's basically uh, we that is uh, purely for the one financial year uh, we are considering as an asset uh, like the debtors bills receivables and these are the our current assets do you know what are reclass entries reclass yes uh no that's all but uh, i think a reclassification means uh, uh changing the ledgers uh, yes yes you are Answering correctly, go on. Uh, means uh, I'm not sure, but uh, changing the ledger means uh, 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 like uh, uh, suppose if we are uh, uh, debiting someone and as an expenses, but it's a uh, wrongly uh, connected with the uh, uh, as an a part uh, income part. So we need to reclassify that entry into the expenses considered as an expenses. So we need to uh, pass a general entry uh, without disturbing the previous entry and transfer to the uh, expenses. I think that is on a reclassification entry. Okay, so do you know what are ad hoc entries? I don't. No, sorry. No worries. Uh, what about tree occurring entries? Tree occurring. 
means uh, I think uh, it is an advance entry. Okay. Uh, which we are getting from the customers as an advance and. Uh, Can you give me one example of a reoccurring entry? Reoccurring, um, it's, uh, suppose if you are charging the customer so for the three months, um, like the first quarter, uh, that mm-hmm. is a three month, and uh, we are uh, raise the invoice uh, for, for the Jan, Jan uh, Feb, and uh, March, but we are not giving the services for the Feb and March. Uh, so uh, the Feb and March, uh, it's a. Uh, at once which we receive uh, but not uh, earn not earn a revenue what are your biggest weaknesses can you name uh, two i don't think so i i have any weaknesses uh, but uh, i will always uh, try to uh, being a team member and uh, adjust myself with the team as per the uh, team's requirement uh, every time i will try to uh, give my best uh, uh, to enhance the team performance uh so i don't think so i have any weakness okay can you share two importance of record to report process uh yes uh, uh, the two important process it's uh, basically when uh, the data which we receive we need to analyze that data first and uh, uh, uh highlighted those kind of uh, uh, records or entries of which are involves the monetary value uh and uh, while uh, Recording that uh, entries uh, via passing the general entries, uh, the charge of account is uh, one of the uh, I mean, uh, important uh, key for the record to report. So I think uh, charge of account and uh, our analyzation is uh, one of the best uh, means important part. Okay. What is cash flow statement? Uh, the cash flow statement showing us uh, the our in inflow and outflow of the flag, uh, cash and uh, what will be the exact availability. Have you worked on the cancellations? Uh, uh, the basically uh, on uh, bank reconciliation, not detailed or not much deeper, uh, but uh, uh, on a first level, you can say uh, I've worked on a bank reconciliations and the customers' ledgers reconciliations uh, because when we raise the invoices to the customers, uh, the junior sub should be correctly matched uh, with the payments. Uh, so we need to reconcile that uh, receipt entries with the billing entries. Okay, can you walk me through your bank reconciliation process? How you do it? Uh, the bank reconciliation uh, first, uh, I mean, the bank statement and our cash statement. Uh, we need to uh, reconcile that uh, both the entries because sometimes we are issue uh, the checks and immediately pass uh, immediately pass the journal entries in our cash book or bank book, but it will not reflect in uh, the bank statement. Uh, so we need to reconcile that, and we need to deduct uh, that much amount which we raise a check uh, from the bank statement. So we will get the exact uh, out uh, means available uh, balance in the bank. So that is you are sharing the reason like differences are arising, trying to identify that. But I am asking you, what is the process? How you identify that this these are the transaction? which are causing the difference between my bank statement and my entries which we have booked. 